हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड इंट्रोडक्शन टू मॉड्यूलेशन बिफोर अंडरस्टैंडिंग मॉड्यूलेशन वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज कम्युनिकेशन वी कैन डिफाइन कम्युनिकेशन एज ट्रांसफर ऑफ मीनिंगफुल इंफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम वन पॉइंट टू अनदर पॉइंट थ्रू ए चैनल so we can define communication as a transfer of meaningful information from one point to another point through a channel generally a communication system consists of three important blocks so it consists of a transmitter channel and a receiver transmitter is used to transmit the message signal through a channel and receiver will receive this message signal generally these message signals will be very much weak and they cannot be transmitted for a longer distance that's why at the transmitter end there will be a process which is known as modulation that will be performed on the message signal and then that modulated signal will be transmitted over a channel and receiver will receive the modulated signal and it will perform a process which is known as demodulation to obtain the message signal so at the transmitter end message will be modulated and then it will be transmitted over a channel and receiver will receive this modulated signal and it will perform demodulation to obtain the message signal since message signal is not strong and it cannot be transmitted for a longer distance that's why modulation is performed and it is transmitted to the receiver end and at the receiver end demodulation is performed to obtain the original message now if we consider a signal a signal consists of three important parameters first one is amplitude next is frequency and phase so a signal consists of amplitude frequency and phase as the parameters now in modulation we take a high frequency carrier signal and then any one of the parameters of the carrier signal will be altered according to the message signal and then that modulated carrier signal will be transmitted over a channel so we can define modulation as a process of altering any one parameter of carrier signal with respect to instantaneous value of message signal by keeping other two parameters constant so we can define modulation as a process of altering any one parameter of carrier signal with respect to message signal by keeping other two parameters as constant for example if we alter amplitude of the carrier signal then frequency and phase will be kept constant and amplitude will be varied or altered according to the instantaneous value of the message signal such process is known as modulation or amplitude modulation in the same way if the frequency of the carrier signal is altered by keeping amplitude and phase as constant then it is known as frequency modulation and if phase of the carrier signal is varied by keeping amplitude and frequency as constant then the modulation is known as phase modulation this is the general block diagram of process of modulation as you can see a message signal is taken as input by a modulator along with that it will take the carrier signal the modulator will alter any one parameter of the carrier signal with respect to the instantaneous value of the message signal and it will produce a signal which is known as modulated signal so this modulated signal will be transmitted over a channel here the message signal consists of information or message that has to be transmitted over a channel this message signal 
is also known as base band signal or modulating signal so this message signal is also known as base band signal or modulating signal mathematically we can write the message signal as m of t is equal to am cos 2 pi fm t any sinusoidal signal can be written as x of t is equal to a cos 2 pi ft this is the general representation of sinusoidal signal using the same equation we have written the message signal as am cos 2 pi fm t so here am is the amplitude of message signal in terms of voltage fm is the frequency of message signal in terms of hertz the carrier signal is a high frequency sinusoidal signal which is used to carry message to the receiver after modulation so carrier signal is a high frequency sinusoidal signal that is used to carry the message to the receiver after modulation we can represent carrier signal as c of t is equal to ac cos 2 pi fct plus phi c so this is the mathematical representation of a carrier signal so this is the mathematical representation of carrier signal here ac is the amplitude of the carrier signal in terms of volts fc is the frequency of carrier signal in terms of hertz and phi c is the phase of carrier signal in terms of degrees so these three are the parameters of carrier signal now depending upon altering any one of the parameters of carrier signal we can classify modulation as amplitude modulation frequency modulation and phase modulation so we can have amplitude modulation frequency modulation and phase modulation in amplitude modulation the amplitude of carrier is altered with respect to instantaneous value of message signal by keeping other two parameters as constant in frequency modulation the frequency of carrier is altered with respect to instantaneous value of message signal by keeping other two parameters as constant in phase modulation phase of carrier signal is altered with respect to instantaneous value of message signal by keeping other two parameters as constant now let us see what is modulated signal modulated signal is the resulting signal after processing by a modulator so modulated signal is the resulting signal after processing by a modulator it consists of modulating signal and carrier signal mathematically we can represent modulated signal as s of t is equal to ac into 1 plus ka m of t into cos 2 pi fct so this is the mathematical representation of modulated signal this signal consists of both message signal as well as the carrier signal here ka is the amplitude sensitivity factor now let us see the advantages of modulation the modulation reduces the height of an antenna it avoids mixing of signal it allows the multiplexing of signals it increases the range of communication it improves the quality of reception 
This is about introduction to modulation. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.